Begin the current daf, Masechtus Nazar Daf Chav Beis. Begin on the top line of the Amud, where the Gemara continues attempting to bring a raya to the fundamental question we had regarding this halacha of hafaras habal. Is it baal me'aka aka? Is it that the husband uproots her retroactively as if there was never a neder in the first place, or is it megas guys that just he stops it dead in his tracks? But what was was, and this is the Gemara continues to try to bring a raya regarding that question. As Treyas calls upon the Kazik and the Cheskel to enter the Vachaim, we should never join for today's daf. Some of the discussion in today's daf, like we mentioned, is Baal Me'aka Akar, I make his guys, could we resolve that question? Now, um, the Gemara Ahmed Bez wants to know when a person is being matfis an item in a bust of shlamim. So there's different stages in the bust of shlamim. Are you matfis be'ikara, what it originally was, before the blood was sprayed, and therefore that would be that your loaf of bread that you're comparing to the shlamim would be prohibited? Oi betzinna, it's like when it cools down, meaning afterwards, after the blood is sprayed, which then subsequently it's permitted, what is it that you're being matfis, that you're transferring when you're comparing the loaf of bread to that carbon shlam? Just like the word has a question regarding a case when a woman says, there was a woman who said she's a nazar, and then the other one says, I'm a nazira big vayich. So she's transferring the sanctity of the original woman. The question is what the translation of the word ekev is, has more than one translation, which will decide if she's going to become permitted when the first woman is matzer ha-nether or not. And additionally, the Gemara has a discussion regarding when you say harin in nazar va'at, what does va'at mean? Because it can mean uh, a question, do you also want to be, or that if you, meaning that he's dependent on her, the Gemara is going to bring two different ways of translating that. So begin the current daf, daf chav beiz, begin on the top line of the Amid. But the Gemara is coming to resolve the question of Baal Me'ake Orka, does the husband revoke his wife's endorsement retroactively, or is Baal Me'ake's guys, does he merely terminate them going forward? So as the Gemara Toshima, it's being arrived in the following Bryson. The Bryson says, the Isha Shanadur of Nazir, Vinetmei. So we have a woman who took a Nedab Nazir, she's a regular Nazir, she becomes Tomei, okay, she becomes obligated in the halachas of Toma with Karbonis. But then, the Ache Chavula Bala. Then, after she already becomes Tomei, the husband is made for the Nedab. Says the Brisa, what's the halacha? Mevia chata sa'if. She brings the bird chatas. Ve'in mevia oila sa'if. She does not, does not bring the bird oila, which these are her karbonas generally that you would bring as a tumma nazira. She'll bring only the chata sa'if and not the oila sa'if. Says the Gemara, you're going to think to say that Baal Megas guy is that all the husband does, he stops it, cauterizes it from preventing from going further. But what was, was, so she was a tumma nazira. So I don't understand. So Tasin Nam is Oila Sa'if. She should also bring the Oila Sa'if. You violated the halachas of Nazirahs of Tomo. You had that. It didn't disappear. Which Tasin says, really, you could have said also the Oshem that you have to bring. It's just picking the Oila Sa'if because it's contrasting with the Chata Sa'if, and both of them are in the same Pasik. But Al Kaponim, if he held Megas Gaius, he, she should be bringing the Oila Sa'if. Says, Gemara, wait a second. So, Avelamai, what do you want to tell me? You're trying to prove to me from this Braisa that Me'eko Oko. That the husband uproots it retroactively as if there was never a net of Nazir and never she doesn't have to bring the other side. So, Chatzayev Nami like Taisi. Then she shouldn't either bring the Chatzayev, but brings the Chatzayev. Says the Gemara, Hochinami. In other words, yes, you're right. We want to prove from this Bryce and the Me'aka Akar. The husband retroactively uproots it as if there was never a net of Nazir. And that's why she doesn't bring the other side. Ah, you want to know why they should bring the Chatzayev? That's because a chatz ha'if is a very easily brought carbon that it's even brought in situations of like Suffolk, as the Gemara teaches in the first paragraph in the Dharm, Daf Yudim and Aleph. And Bahamani, who's the Tana of this Brisa, going like Rabbi Lazar Kapper, he, what's this? The Tana of the Brisa, Lazar Kapper, Beribi is the gear, so Oimar, he says, Ma Tamalim was the Pasuk teach, when it says that when, she, when the Nazar becomes Tami, they're going to atone for him, Masha Chat Nefesh, that he sinned on the soul. Which soul did the Nazar sin on? Because he, he held himself back from drinking wine. So he's called a sinner. Which, parenthetically, if someone's just holding himself back from wine, one of the many pleasures God gives a person is called the sinner. If someone holds himself back and paid himself from everything, all the more so that he's going to be considered as a sinner. But, the primary thing we want to show from the Brisa is, is that, yeah, the reason why she brings the chatas is simply because it's like a blazer kapper who holds that every time you hold yourself back from a pleasure, 
you consider it as a sinner. So even if you really weren't in the zero because the husband was oikul mafreya, and that's why you're not bringing the oil as oiv, still you're bringing the chad as oiv. So it comes out that the sugya wants to prove that the husband is oiker, what's called me'eka oker, he uproots it retroactively. Which, Tais says, it's difficult. Why over here does it bring the whole teaching of Abelaz Copper? And previously the Gemara didn't, where the Gemara just said, oh, lo'ila me'eker oker, and since you need to have an atonement, Okay, so therefore, you're going to bring the chatzas. Why here does it go through the whole teaching? So because of that question, Taisa says, which with different girsais we pointed on in the previous stuff, he says, the girsais should have it previously been that since she does not need to have a kapara. So if she does not need a kapara, so then it's like chata shamesu ba'aleha. And what it means to say is that truthfully, and this is going on the previous Gemara, so in case you're not following, that's okay. But la'ilu me'aka akra. However, since she really sanctified it, so it's not going to go out to chulin, when the husband's made for it, so it's like a chata shemes about leho. That's one approach the Taisa says. Or, according to the girsa that Taisa's had, which was not that, not like our girsa, Taisa had a different girsa, that it was the tzricha kapara, it still makes sense because previously the Gemara was not going totally like Rebeleza, because the carbon's not being carved, it's being left to die. But over here, where we're saying that you bring the carbon, that's exact Rebeleza, except we bring the whole teaching. Okay, be it as it may, it seems like the Gemara came out. That Baal me'akar akar, and that's why the Brisa says that you own, that you're not going to bring the oil of Saif. I why chata Saif again? That's because of like Rabbi Lazar Kapper that says and those are called the chaita. But now the Gemara actually says Toshema. It's being a raya. The tiny behead you explicitly learned in the Brisa an answer to our question. Wash tait in Brisa says the isha should not be nazarim for what metakaner of naziras. The shama chaver to ba'amra ani and her friend overheard her and said and me. Now the first husband came along and he was made for the wife's neder. So what's the halacha? So the first woman, the Shidba Medikar's husband, nullified her vow. And the other one is forbidden. Wait a second. Obviously you can infer from this that Baal make his guys. Of course, if it's oikid, there's no vani over here. There's nothing to be matvis. Obviously that it's only from here on. And the first one was not her neder never mutter. So Tais says it's a little bit difficult because the, a moment ago, the Gemara just resolved the question from the previous Braiza, from the fact that she means the chat is enara oila, the mi akka akka. And now the Gemara is flip flopping a second later to say that Balmik is guys. That's not the way normally the, the, the Gemara is. So it says Tais says that it's not, a, it's not a stira because we just moment ago explained that the previous Braiza is like a blaza copper. According to him, it's Baal Me'aka Akar. Our Bryce, we're quoting now, of Tanya Behedya, is like the Rabbanan. That's how Tais explains it. The Rush actually says that you could reconcile the two Bryces, that's not a stira, that the first Bryce agrees Baal Me'aka's guy is. And so why doesn't she bring the Karban Oila? So the Rush says because the Karbanan's Tumar only brought when the Nazar will continue the Naziris. She's not because her husband revoked her Naziris. She still brings the Karbanan's because her blood is like copper. So that's how the Rush, either way, Tais says, okay, it's Machlekes. And the Rosh says, no, you can be miyashavit. But one thing is, the Gemara actually brings that th- there's a machlikis tanoim on this point. Because what we just quoted was the Tamikama, who, yes, we clearly see from him, Baal Mekiz guys, and therefore, the second one should be Asr. But Shimonim, he says, no, he disagrees with the Tamikama. He says, the question is if he's disagreeing about, uh, or not, actually. But, but Rabbi Shimon says, if she didn't say Va'ani, but she says, I am like you, then stay in Mutavas. Then even the second woman is going to be permitted, even though her husband was not made for, and only the first husband. Why? Because Harenika Mesecha sounds like I'm like you in all the ways. In other words, if you're going to become Mutter, I'm also going to become Mutter. Rosh Tais says it's a wonder because how is this possible? Since she was Makabod and Naziris and it took effect on her, how could she become Mutter when her friend becomes Mutter? You just told me that Halacha is Megis guy is. But if, if it's Megis guy is, so you can't take a half baked Naziris. If a person would say, I'm a Nazir today and tomorrow I'm not a Nazir, it would be a Nazir 30 days because you can't have a Naziris less than 30 days, as the Gemara taught in the first paragraph of Hamad Aleph. So, so what does it mean? How's it working over here? She's not having a talk. Her husband's not being made for her, her Nadir. So, how could, even if she took that Kabbalah, that it should be that. I wanted to become mutter when you're going to become mutter, but you can't do this. like saying, I want to be a nazar today, not a nazar tomorrow. It's only if someone's martyred, and no one's martyred. So how does it become mutter? So the re says that actually we learned in the Brisa that actually says this clearly, where it's talking about 
where um, she says, I didn't have in mind but to be like you. Then the both can be permitted if she says that, because it sounds like what the Shem is trying to say is what the woman is saying is, if you're going to end up being mutter, I don't want Nazirus of mine to take effect at all. So even though, yes, we say Megiz Gaias, but the woman's Kabbalah was only with the intent of it being like the first woman. And she comes mutter, means I didn't, then I didn't want another either. And Tosa says that the, according to this, Rabbi Shimon is not coming to disagree with the teaching of the Tanakam. It's just coming to add on. And the, the Tanakam is talking about And Rabbi Shimon is saying, uh, 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 if she says, I want to be told like you, Tanakam would agree to that. Now, Rabbi Parad says that according to Rabbi Shimon, even just Va'ani, we would explain her words as if she explicitly said, And on that, there's Machalikis Rabbi Shimon and the Rabbana. When the woman says Va'ani, that Rabbi Shimon would hold, that's like it's saying, and I want to be totally like you. So even though you say Baal Megiz is, she would still be mutter. So, so according to the Maraf, that that's actually uh, would be Machlech, Rabbi Shimon and the Rabban. Okay, so depending on what the, how you translate exactly, Akapanam, if she's saying that, that I want to be like that, so then they both can be permitted. Now, the Gemara continues on Ahmed Beis and says, Marzut Shabirida Mari Ama. He says, Hi, this teaching that we're discussing over here. Anamad Aleph is actually Hainu de Rambachama. It's the same question that was asked by Rambah Bachama. Bas Haist. The boy Rambachama. Rambachama had asked the following question. If someone says, this loaf of bread, I want it to be, for me, like this piece of meat from the carbon Shlam. Ma, oh, what's the halacha? What's the question? So here the Gemara explains. Ki mitvis inish, when the person transfers from one item to another item, is it bikara mitvis? Is it from what it initially was, which was before the blood of the carbon was sprayed, the blood, the, 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 the meat of the shlam is forbidden to be eaten. And that's what you're transferring, you're saying that I want this loaf of bread to be like that? I dim, or maybe bitsanna mitvis. Or maybe he's transferring when it cooled off, the way it is right now, which is mut to eat the meat right now. So that's the question that was asked by Ram Bacham. Now, there's a long thesis here on Amit Alv, because or else we could finish this off in a few minutes, but we would want to take it a little bit longer. The thesis on Amit Alv. The thesis, he, gives, he just explains, what's this question of Ram Bacham? So the Gemara in the Dharm Dafir Alv explains that the question of Ram Bacham is, where you have a piece of, the way we just explained it right now, you have a piece of a carbon shlamim after the blood of the carbon was sprayed already, and the guy is saying that this loaf of bread should be on me like the meat of this carbon shlam. Now, the meat of a shlam before the blood is sprayed is also to be eaten. After the blood is sprayed, it's permitted to be eaten. And the question is, when the guy says, I want this loaf of bread to be on me like the boss of this zebech shlamim, is the intention of the one taking that to say that just like this meat of the carbon shlamim before the blood was sprayed was also, so okay, the loaf of bread I'm trying to say should also be also. Or maybe his intention is the way the meat of the shlam is right now, after the blood was sprayed, which is permitted. And therefore the loaf of bread will also be permitted. That's how the Gemara explains the question of Rabbi Bacham in the dark. Now, so in our sugya, someone to say, well, what's Rabbi Bacham, what's, what's Mazdut Jibirei of Mari doing by comparing our Gemara to Rabbi Bacham's question? What, what is he trying to say? That he's trying to reject the Gemara's answer from the Bryson that it said, Tanya Lehedya? We learned in the Braise that we quoted Himoteres Bechaberta also. We said that when you have two ladies, one said, I'm a Nazir and her husband's Mayfred, and the other one said, Va'ani, that we said from the Tanakam from the Chachamim that the second one's going to be Aser, what did we resolve from there? We proved that Meg is guys, right? Because Oy Mekrim Akar, then the second one would also be permitted. Oh, and that Mazrucha comes to be Doicha, and he says, No, I could tell you Me'eker Akar, that the husband or retroactively uproots it. And where do you see this? Oh, you see it by Rami Bacham's question. Right? Meaning, uh, it, it, the, the, the halacha from, meaning, he's saying that the truth is, uh, we said before this last Tanya Behadu, uh, Tosis had said, like, it seems like a stero like that. So it says, no, no, Mazucha says, it's going to be like we had from the previous price so that we said she brings a chat to Zaif. But she doesn't bring the Saif. Why doesn't she bring the Saif? Oh, because the husband's maker, Akr. He does have to do it. Now, 
So then the friend that's Usr, how do we understand that halacha? Why is the second woman going to be forbidden if you tell them the Baal's Mecca Akka? That's what Mazruch is coming to, to explain, very uh, lambda uh, gemara over here, based on the way he's explaining, is he's trying to explain to you, you told me you wanted to prove from there, that Mecca's guy says, no, no, no. I could, I could tell you the way the Gemara previously had said, that Mecca Akka. Because the Metzius of the Shlomo is different than the husband being Mazruch. Yeah. So. Well, there's going to be differences. The question is, but at this point, it sounds like the Gemara wants no, to come. One has to do the hair, one has to do the process. What did you say? One has to do the hair, where the husband is hooker, or medder, or mitzvahs, and one has to do with the process. It's not similar. I'm saying, but the question is, when, you are, when you're doing hatfasa, what are you doing hatfasa on when you're transferring something? Are you transferring how it was originally, or how it is at the end? So the Gemara wants to, I mean, that's what we're about to explain this moment, but the Gemara wants to, Ram, Mazucha wanted to compare Rabbi Bachama's halacha to our halacha. And the question is, what does he want to say? So that's what he's about to explain right now, that his, ma- his main intent is, he wants to reject the Gemara's conclusion from the Brice of, how could you have the second one being Asr if you hold Me'eker Akar? The Dach make his guys. That's what the Gemara wanted to say. He says, no, no, no. Listen closely. I'm going to quote you a teaching from Ramah Bachama. And then you're going to see a pshat. How is it possible that the second one is going to be Asr, even though you say Baal Me'akar Akar? How is it possible? Seemingly, we, we, we all understood the Gemara that it's a rabbi Megizia. He says, no, I'll tell you why. Because Me'akar Mitfasa. What do you mean? She wanted herself to be like the first woman until her husband wasn't made for her nether which at that time she was usher. It's in that isser that she intends to make a nedu and to remain like that, even if the first woman's husband is oigin nedu l'mafreya. You thought if bal meke akar means, okay, you latched onto the first one. If she's gone, you're gone. He says, no, 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 you're misunderstanding. I want to be, um, I could take something that's not here anymore and still say I want you to be like that. That's what you see by Rabbi Bahama's question. If you say, Kimi Kara Mitvas, you have a Kolben Shlomim over here. It's Mutter. What's haste, you Matvis Isser? There's no Isser over here. Nay, nay, Nechmein, Vizgivein, Amol. It's not. It's Mutter. You see, Rabbi Bahama has such a tzad. Says Madrid, aha, you could explain the brace of the second one being us like that. Also, even if you say, Bahamaya Karker. Beautiful Pshad. What Taisa is explaining was what, the, what Mazut is trying to say. However, don't get so excited because Taisa asks question after question after question, demolishes this pshat, and says it's not possible. He says, question number one, he says, is Rabbi Muhammad never resolved that be Kamatvis. He asked the question. So, what are you telling me from, Rab, from Rabbi Bahama to explain the halacha of our b'risa? That's question number one. He never resolved it. How can you say necessarily? That that's pshat in our b'risa. Question number two. He says, by the question of Rabbi Bachama, the zrika of the dam does not permit the meat only from the zrika onwards. It's not a lama freya. It doesn't say, oh, it was never usher in the first place. Noch the zrika becomes permitted now on. Now, there of course, if a person says, mekara mitvis, I want it to be the way the Shlomo was before the blood was sprayed. Of course it's going to be Asr. Because it was Asr before the blood was sprayed. It wasn't Oikel Mafrey and Niglo Milsa that, oh, it was never Asr in the first place. Of course it was Asr at that point. But by Hafarad the Baal, if he tell me the husband's Oikel Mafrey, <laughs> then even if you say Mikor Mitvis, the French should still be Mutter. Because it was never a nether here at all. So I says, this is not a Dimyan. How can you say such a Pshad? It's not the same thing. Question number three. So Tais says, wait a second. Why is this different than our Mishnah that had said, we said when the woman takes, a, 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 or a first person says, I'm a Nazar. And the other person says, Vani. And the other one says, Vani. We say when the first one becomes Mutu, they all become Mutu. Why do we say they all become Mutu? Because it says, 
the first guy is not here, the original link, all of the links fall down. So I understand. So how can you want to say over here that even if the Baal's Eken had to be Kare, the other one's going to be Aser, how could she be Aser? The original link is not here. And that says, Tay says, okay, I can be me Aser that Bedoichik. What we call Deichik Teret Tay says, we're pushing it. You could say, no, very, very nice Svara, says Tay. He says, Chacham, how does he undo a nether? He undoes it with a, what's called a Pesach, with an opening. He finds some type of opening, a way out for you, a regret. Basically, he makes your nether into a nether to'os. Basically, you're mistaken. You never meant to take this. If you would have known that your bubby is going to be on the bus and she's going to hear from her, no, I would never have done it. Okay. So then when the first one becomes mutter, it's as if there was never a nether here at all because you never meant to take it. So then they're all going to become mutter. But when the Baal is made for, for his wife, there's no charata. There's no opening here. It's exactly a custom. The husband has like a moisture, like a monarch. He just whacks it out of, out, of the, out of the way. So therefore, even if you're going to say he's oike lemafreya, lemaisa, regarding this, it's as if there is a little bit of a nether here and the other one's going to be asa. Because not like there was never a nether over here. Of course there was a nether. But just for saying, he's uprooting retro. It's like a teichi test, but but a shein svara because the, 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 the mechanics of... Uh, of the concept of how it works by the Baal is different than it is by the Chacham, although they're both being Oikele Mafreya. But he says it's a Deichik. Another question he has is, now, Mazucha wants to say that even if the Baal is Mi'aka Aka, and that's what he's trying to prove, he's trying to say, no, not like the Gemara wanted to prove from the bright that Chaver to Asa, that must be Megiz guys. No, it could be Oikele Mafreya. Still, the other one's going to be Asa, like we're saying, the Shein is Svara, because she means to do at fast on what it originally was. But the Gemara previously said, as a pshitus, the Gemara wanted to know when you're asking me this question, when we started this discussion in the previous daf, on Chafal from the you asked me, Baal Me'aka Akr or Megiz Gai? So the Gemara says, Lamai Nafkemina, what's the big deal already? Well, what's the big deal already? Who cares? So he said, I'll tell you the case. The case of a woman takes a nether of Nazirus and her friend heard, and she said, Bani, if you say Me'aka Akr, the second one will be permitted. <laughs> so it comes a Mazucha. Is 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 soicer a stam sugya? He's saying no, n- not necessarily. Even if I make a alka, the second one could still be asa, because she means to say I want to have the way she was before hey, she became permitted retroactively. So mazut is not like the stam sugya, and they, they, it sounds like from the gemara stama the way the way the gemara wants to explain. It sounds like mazut is not like a stam gemara. Another question is really related to the next piece of the gemara. The gemara actually answers or responds to Mazutra. Mazutra wanted to say that, oh, this halacha, this b'raisa is Ramebacham. Which again, the way Taisis has the pshat up until now, is that Mazutra basically tried to be doich the Gemara's, the Gemara's conclusion. You wanted to prove from the b'raisa that, you see, make his guys. No, I could tell you make a akka. Because, look, look at Ramebachama. Ramebachama is met a shtickle flesh that's muta right now, and he has a havamina to say, that's going to be awesome, because big kacha mitzvahs. Maybe that's also, you could say, oka, meke, oka, it's not here anymore, but still, you could say that the second woman's going to be awesome, because meke, oka, and not meke, his guy. So the Gemara responds, and it's four lines down on uh, Ahmed Bey's, the Gemara says, wait a second, me dummy? What are you comparing, Mazucha? Our halacha to Rambachama. Hasim over there with Rambachama. Kib in the Amar Hare Olai, Kibsa Zabach Shlamim. Since you say that Okay, I want this loaf of bread to be like a shtick flesh of this carbon shlama. Yeah, but even though you're right, after the blood of the carbon is sprayed, you're right, they become permitted. You could eat it out of the base of Mikdash. Of a Mikdash Kaddish. But it's still holy. It still has certain halachas limiting it in halacha. You can't do anything you want to with kachim. It still has limiting halachas. Avalacha, but over here in our halacha of the Nazira and the woman who says Rani, if you think to say that the hatfasa, that the transference is when it cools off, meaning at the end, that's not similar to the end as you find by the carbon shlamim when it's also mutter at the end, because hahafala bala. What do you mean? In our halacha, the husband was made for, there's nothing here, there's no nether at all. How are you comparing the two halachas? That's how the Gemara rejects it. 
But continuing with Taisus' questions, he says, wait a second. The way you were telling me the Gemara of Mazutra, there's no Dichuy over here. This Svar is Pung Fakherd. You're actually strengthening Mazutra. Because obviously, that means to say that her Atfasa was what it originally was. And even so, it is going to be Aser. So that's exactly what like Mazutra said. That even though it's not here anymore, but you could do Hatfasa on something that's not here anymore. So Al Kapanim, because of all these questions, Taisus finds the interpretation that we said is very difficult. So Taisus says, let's say a different shot. He says, well, first of all, regarding this last question, actually, he says that no. What the Gemara means to say, he's just addressing the last question. He says, is it comparable? But it's all the it's actually all the statement of Mazutra. Because Tay says what's called Lush Nazim Mishuna. The the, the Lashon of this Masechta is is, is 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 different than regular Masechtas. In other words, what what it's all Mazutra saying that although over there Rama Bahama did not answer the question, so you're gonna tell me, Vazokta Mazutra, what are you comparing to the to the Shlomim and you're trying to fa'amfa a braisa by saying that even though it's Mecca Akr, but the second woman could still be Asr, which we're trying to prove make his guys, and Nikhzog Mazutra that no, I can tell you it's it's Mecca Akr, but can lighten does because the second woman is 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 be is typhus in something that's not here anymore, but that originally was, and I'm trying to prove from Shlam and, and Vos Vos me dummy, meaning Mazutra is saying this. So he's just answering his last question. Uh, this is Mazutra Bavarni. He's saying, me dummy, meaning that even though over there the, the, no, Rambam Chabad did not answer the question, here we could say with a pshitis, and this is really answering one of the other questions, that yeah, here we'll say with a pshitis that me karakamatvis, because it's different. There, yeah, and actually we'll see this at the end of the is similar to what really Taisa is alluding to over here. There he didn't, he didn't prove that it was me because there's still something to be matfis over here by the shlamim at the end because there's still some limitations. But, uh, but, but by my own, what, what are you being matfis if there's nothing here? Must be mikacha ka matfis on what, what she originally was. That's because you want to be a nazira, right? What do you say, mani? Must be that you want to be like you originally was. So that's mazucha basically saying that here everyone would agree mikacha ka matfis. But he says that's also Uh And another question he has is, why do you really even need to bring Rama Bahama's whole question? Leave out Rama Bahama's question. Why can't you just say, as the Gemara actually is going to continue later on, and say, Me kacha what, are you, what, are you, what are you bringing in Rama Bahama? What do you need Rama Bahama for? Which I says, okay, I could give a Dechik Teretz. This is Mamish, like someone, you see someone learning, you know, a Sugi says, okay, you know, those came uh, uh, I, I can give you a Dechik Teretz for this. Mamish, let me read this taste. You see, like, uh, some more long way, he's going back and forth. He says, that you can be Miyash Bedech. He says that the reason why we bring Rabbi Muhammad's question is just to tell us the Svara. That there is such a Svara in Mekar Kamatvis. Because if we didn't tell you that in general there's such a Svara, we wouldn't say over here Mekar Kamatvis because it's a big Chiddush to say that something that's not here anymore, and even in our case that never really was retroactively, that you're being Matvis. So maybe that's why we brought in Rabbi Muhammad's question. But another question today says is that the wording of the Gemara on Amad Alev. That's a Tanya Behedya. Explicitly in the Braisa. Sounds like that, that's a Pshitis, that we're remaining with that. That is Megis Gaius. As we said, such a wording on, on, the, on the previous stuff, Chaval Madalav, that Tanya Behedya, and that remains. But the way you're saying it, it doesn't remain because Mazut is being Doichet. It's not the way of a Gemara to say Tanya Behedya and then a second later fall off a man. But according to the Pshat we're going with, Mazut is being Doichet, a Tanya Behedya. Okay, so that ends Tais's questions of bludgeoning this first Mahalach in the Gemara. And he says, so there it seems to the Ram to explain differently. Mazutra is not being doicha the pshitas of the Gemara. Rather, we remain with Baal Megiz Gaius. What does Mazutra mean when he says, In other words, we can resolve from this brysa. Rama Bahama's question, the other way around. Not that we can answer our halacha from Rama Bahama. We can answer Rama Bahama's question from our b'risa. Just like we say that when the friend is going to be us to when she says, Vani, why is the friend? We said, Himu Teres, Bechaver Tasura. 
Why is the second one going to be Asr? Obviously, meaning, even though the friend knows that this woman could be permitted by her husband being made for, so she, so she technically also might, might become what to know. Since we, she said, Va'ani, it's like she wants it to be as this woman originally was, which is Asr. I also want to be like that now, how you originally were. Ah, so says Mazdutra, let's answer Ram Muhammad's question. Let's say when the person says, I want this loaf of bread to be like this meat of the carbon shlamim, that he means to say how it was before this rika. That's what Mazdutra means to say by comparing it to Ram Muhammad. You can answer Ram Muhammad's question. You see that the person intends to be matfaz makeup. But says says it's difficult because me dummy? Are they comparable? Because most definitely by the woman we would say that her intention is how she was in the beginning because she's saying it when the friend's usher. She takes an in the and she says, oh, me too. So of course she means to say how it was originally. She's saying it right then. But by Rame Bachama, the one who's taking the nether is taking the nether at a time when the meat is permitted after the blood was sprayed. Why would I say? How can you say such a thing? Says Toysis, what you have to say is that our stugi over here holds that the question of Rabbi Bahama is actually talking about in such a case where the person is saying, I want this loaf of bread to be like the meat of the Kamishlam before the blood is sprayed. And says Toysis, our stugi disagrees with the stugi Mesachis Nadarim. The Gemara Nadarim says that the question was, I want my loaf of bread to be like the meat of Shlamim after the blood is sprayed. Our Gemara disagrees and says the question is before the blood is sprayed. But, that is not done. It says you could say that actually when the Gemara in the Dharma over there says that the question was after the blood was sprayed, so what I mean, uh, it's a stira in Ram Bachama. It says no, those were not the words of Ram Bachama. Ram Bachama didn't say anything more than the words of when a person says, Hareya like Kebisar Zebach Shlamim, Mao. That was all that he said. Now, on that the Gemara in the Dharma explains. What is the foul? What's the case he's talking about? La achazrika. Where he's being matfis, achazrika. But it could be his question was, lefnezrika. And that's the way Argomar holds over here. And says, so says, you find that in the other place in Shas too. For example, the halacha of umen koinim b'shvach kli. There's a craftsman acquire the, the, the profit of the vessel that he worked on, which the Gemarim, Ba Mitzidav Kovi Bezim and Alpha explains the question is regarding the Isra Baltolin, but the Gemarim, Baba Kamadav Tzadik Tess explains it in a different way. So too, you find the second peg of Baba Kamadav Tess regarding Yes Shinu Litzreiris, is the halacha of Shinu regarding Tzreiris. The Gemara explains that question in many different ways how it was said. So it says to us, it's not such a such a such a chiddush for me to say this that Rambam Chama's question was said unspecific, and the Gemara and the Dachim says Lachas Rika and Gemara saying it's before the Zika. Okay, great. So now we know what the Gemara was attempting to do. What Mazutu wanted to do, he wanted to show you from our Gemara that Mikara Matvis, and therefore you can answer Rambam Chama's question when the person is with this Zebach Shlom before the blood is sprayed. His intention is in its Isur, Meikara state, and not the way it's going to be at the end, it's going to be Mutter. But then the Gemara rejects it. And the Gemara says, no, you cannot resolve Ram Muhammad's question from our Brisa. Because like the Gemara says, Lloyd dummy, they're not comparable. Why are they not comparable? Because over there, since a person says, I want my loaf of bread to be like the meat of the Karman Shlamim, even after the blood is sprayed, you could eat it outside, but it's still Mikdash Kaddish, it's still holy. In other words, there's still Kedusha in the Basra regarding that. You're not allowed to eat it out of your Shalayim. So to that, let's say, it has Kedusha regarding Tumas Aguf. You're not allowed to eat the Basra Shalom with your body being Tame. So to you're not allowed to eat Chutz Lazmanoi. In other words, there you could say, if you're going to say Mikara Matvis before the Zriko or the after the Zriko. Why? You could have such a question of Rambach Hama. Why? Because a person can make a mistake to say, after the meat, uh, even after the blood is sprayed, it still has Kedusha regarding, let's say, Chutz Lizmane. So there's something to be matfis on, there's something to transfer. Oh, so therefore you could have a suffix, which is Rambo Hamas question, if he means to be how it originally was, or how it, after how it was. 
But over here, regarding this woman who says, Vani, most definitely we should say that, of course her intention was how it was made, kacha, to be typhus, to say she wants to be usher before the husband's being made for her. Because if you begin to think to say that it's bitin and matfis, as it is when it cools down, as it is when it's mutter at the end, <coughs> meaning that the woman, <coughs> that's the first woman, her husband was made for her nadir, that there's no ma'isr, of course she's going to be typhus made kacha, before the husband was made for <laughs> and, and because at the end there's no isra at all how could she have made a mistake to be matched for something after that fara so of course our sugya says the second woman is going to be asr but by shlamim the person can make a mistake to be matfis even after the blood is sprayed because there's still some kedusha in the bus after zrika regarding chutz and all other halachas never says the gemara nit kein raya loy dami because of course here we're going to say mikara because that's the only thing to be matfis when after the husband's made for there's nothing to be mouth, there's no nether. But by Shlomim, says Yadda Kedusha. So maybe that's what the person meant to be mouthless. Although there's nothing really to be mouthless, but they, they can make such a mistake. If it says the Gemara, it can Beautiful. That's what Taste explains is how the Gemara rejects uh, Mazutra's attempt to say that you can answer Ramachama's question from our Bryce that we had. Now, the Gemara just has one final point on this. It could be that those that say, no, actually, they most definitely this is Rambachama, which again, Taisa explains, based on what he just quoted from the Ram, that you could answer the question of Rami from our previous Bryce. And don't reject to differentiate between them the way we just explained the Gemara, because no, most definitely they are the same. And the Doichik that we're trying to tell you that, what do you mean? Of course, here you would have Meikara, because there's nothing else after Atfasa, and the. No. The Gemara in the second, in the Ikad army, doesn't hold because the way the Mefarah says that even though after the blood is sprayed, there's Mikdash Kaddish, but Lamais, you could eat the Chosel HaMas Azar and all the city. So therefore, <laughs> everyone would know it's for Shomutu. So it is the same thing. And again, so those are two different versions. If you could answer it from, from our Brais or you cannot answer it, Akapam, that was what Amazotra wanted to do. Now, the Gemara continues with a uh, uh, relating to this halacha of being matfis and someone else, which is the halacha of our Mishnah, what we're just discussing now, if you have a woman who takes a nedr of nazirahs, and the friend hears an umbrella, she tells her, I am nazirah, it depends how you translate it, in your footsteps, wow, what's the halacha? But it really depends how you translate the word ekev. What does it mean? As the Gemara explains, harinu be'ikvayich means bekula milsa, I want to be totally like you, Bisharia and she's going to be permitted, meaning, as Tayshik explains, it's as if she says, I want to be besoifach at your end. Like we find the heel is at the end of the body. In other words, I want to be the way you're going to end up, meaning if you're going to become mutter, I also want to be mutter because I did not accept myself in the zigas if you don't have, and therefore it's not going to take effect on me. And therefore, since she became mutter from her husband, so she also becomes mutter. Like Dilma, maybe no, Kimik made the level of Bala. Maybe she wants to be do before how her husband was made for it. But Sikha, she's been forbidden. Why? Because Trace explains you could translate the word Ekev in a different way. It's the word since. Ekev Ashashama Avram, but Kaili, since Avram heard my voice. Oh, so therefore, even if the first one becomes Mutter, the second one's going to be Asr. Because her intention, intention is to be how she originally was before her husband was made for it. So when she says Bekvayach, it means since. So it's as if she said Vani, which. We just said from the Bryce on Ahmed Aleph, and that's why we bring this over here. He muteres vechaber tasura because once the zeros takes effect, it doesn't get removed with the first one's being muter because it said ba megis gaius. So what would be the halacha when you say big vayich? What does she mean to say? Does she mean to say the heel, which is how it should be at the end? Which okay, at the end this one's permitted should also be permitted. Or does it mean the word since? And since you're usher, I'm also me usher, and then megis gaius only permits the first one, not the second one. It says the gemara tashemal being a raya from our mishnah. The Mishnah said, the Isha should not come in Azif, and the woman took a nether in the Zigas. Bishama Bai Lava Amavani, and the husband heard, and he says, and me, Salacha is, any Yachalahafa. We send the Mishnah into Santa Alacha. Usually, the husband can be made for the wife's nether. No, he cannot be made for the nether. Says the Gemara, Visa Gedai Dechib, you're going to think to say, Ki Amala Hadeni Beikvayach. That when the second woman says, I am in your Akiv, Beikara Kamitfis, she means to say from the word of since that she wants to be how the original woman was originally, that even if the first one becomes mutter, the second one should be usr. If that's the case, 
So in this halacha of the Mishnah we're quoting right now, why are we saying the husband cannot be made for a neder? Why not? Let him be made for her neder. And let his still be around because you say that Meg is guy is. So you're still going to be around husband, so why can't you be made for the, 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 the wives? Oh, I love Shema Minor. Rather, obviously, that no. But cool to the Milsa Mitfas. When the second person comes around and they say, Begvayach, which is really the equivalent of Ani, as Taisa is saying, that you mean to say everything that the person is, is, is going to end up being. Oh, So, as we explained previously, that's why the husband cannot be made for because then there's going to be Mechel Devare, which you cannot do. Oh, so then that answers our question. So when the woman says, I am in your Ekev, she's also going to be permitted, which Taisa says it's a Aricha Salashan here. What we mean to say is also over here, the husband's intention, even though he says Vani, he means to say also Akula Milsa, that if she becomes Mutu, he's also going to become Mutu, and, and it's not going to take effect. So that's why he cannot be made for, because then he's violating Loyach al But then says Taisa, well, I don't understand. But in the Mishnah, he only said Vani. So says Taisa, yeah, the Gemara is comparing the two of them. That just like when a woman says, Hareini Bikvayach, that means, I want to be total like you, like the, the word of heel. I want to be the way you end up being. If you're mutter, I'm also going to be mutter. Here also by the husband, he's also being typhus bakula milsa, because although you're right, most definitely a regular person, it says vani, that we just finished saying on Omer Aleph, that your Allah is kimikara. So what are we saying over here, the husband vani is going to be bakula milsa? It says, it's an important svara. He says, because a regular person doesn't have the ability to be mad to the first person's nether. So they're not having intention for the hatara. So they're intending for the way it was originally Asir. So that's Meikara. But the husband, he has the ability to be Matar Har Neder. So his intention is Vatara more than other Matvism. A very important Svacha, because or else you don't understand what the Gemara is saying. The husband says Vatni. How are you saying it's like Bekvayach, which is going to be as it is Besayv, which is going to be if she's Mutta, he's also Mutta, and if you get Loyal Didn't you tell me when you say Vatni is Bekara Matvis? What are you saying? So today's saying a very important Svacha over here. He says, the husband. It's as if he says his vani is different than everyone else's vani. His vani is like Harini Bikvayach. Because he could go with the Hatara because he's the one who makes the Hatara. And I think he rejects and says, Loi, no. Loi lam bikara mitfis. Don't prove to me that Harini Bikvayach, which you're equating with the husband's vani, is Besaifach, which is that of Bekula Milsa. No, it could be Bikara Mitfis. Bikara Mitfis, we had the question, then why can't the husband be Mayfer? It's make his guys. His should still be surviving. No, it's for a different reason. Because once the husband says, and we had this discussion already in the previous stuff, it's not because he's going to be violating loyachal devagai, that's why he cannot be made for husk, because then his also going to be made for. No, his not going to be made for. Because it's mekara metfes, and we say make his guy is, and, and his will still be maintained. The problem why he cannot be made for is because he, when you said vani, it's like you already were mekayim haneda. But says Gemara, you're right. If he comes to the Rav and he's shoyl on his hakama, on his validation, you're right, Motsi Mefi, he would be able to be Mefi. He's not Oiv Leyachad Vare, but he's loyal, but if not, not. So again, there's no raya to the question of what you mean to say when you're saying Harein and Bekfayach. Now the Gemara continues, Allah, the Mishnah, we said on the Mishnah of Chav concludes, if let's say Harein in Nazar Va'at, let's say the husband says, I'm a Nazar, and you. But Amr Amin, she says, yes. So the halacha is made for Eshelah, so he can be made for his own, because his own neder was independent. I mean, he can be made for hers, because hers was secondary. But Shalak him and his is valid, because again, he didn't make his dependent on hers. The problem is, the Bermina seems to be contradicted from the following Brisa. The Brisa says, Hardeni Nazar Va'at, if someone says, I'm a Nazar and you. Same case. Same thing, but Amr Amr says, yes. Shnehem Asurim. They're both forbidden. Not like our, not like our, our, our Mishnah, at least the way the Gemara understands originally, the Gemara understands that the town of the Brisa holds that the Baal is me'aka akar, he uproots it retroactively. If he's going to be made for har nadir, his osu is going to become permitted and he's violating lo yachal. Because the town of the Brisa understands that what he's saying is, I'm a nazar im at. When it says va'at, I'm a nazar if you. And even if it doesn't say im, it still means that. And therefore, if. She says, yes, they're both forbidden. So that's what Gemara is asking on the Mishnah. The Mishnah says, when he tells her, I am a Nazar and you, that it can be made for her Nazar, and his are valid, he you see that no, he cannot be made for hers because he's dependent on her. 
because you see Shnei Masurim, they both can be Asr. Because if you can be made for why saying Shnei Masurim? We'll see in a second what you're probably thinking. But the Brisa continues. Vim lav, and if not, meaning she doesn't say Amen, she doesn't say yes. Well, Shnei Mutarim. They're both permitted. Why? And this is really what's inherent, you see from the Brisa, because he doesn't want to be a Nazir if she's not going to be also a Nazira. Because Neshatola Nidroi bin Nidra. Because he's making his nether dependent on her nether. So one thing is you see that a stira between our Mishnah and the Brisa, could he be made for a nether? Or does he have to be Aser, just like she has to be Aser? Some of you this says it's not a difficulty. Because to me, you have to read in the Reisha, the Brisa, Mefer Eshalah Veshalai Kain. He could be made for her nether, and his could stay valid the way we learned in the Mishnah. I just explained the Reisha said they're both Aser. That means they're both Aser until you didn't do a hafara. Not the way we originally thought. We thought that the reason why it says Shnei Masurim is because the husband cannot be made for a nether. And I was saying, no. It just means they're both us until he's made for a nether. Then, of course, he can be made for a nether the way we say it's not Mishnah. Because although the Sefer sounds like, as the words are clearly the words, that he was totally his nether and her nether, because it says that if not, they both can be permitted, even so, he could be made for a nether. Because the time of the Baisa holds that Baal Meg is Gaius, not the way we thought Merka Akar. And that's the Chiddush that the Baisa is coming to teach. But the Reisha that says they're Asr as long as he didn't do Hafara, you're right, there's no Chiddush, because obviously they're both Asr as long as he didn't do Hafara. Akapam, it's not a stira, because yes, they're both Asr until he does Hafara. But once he does Hafara, then he could be made for Hazard and his around. That's one shot. Another Peshat, the Bayami says, no, you can't even read it as it says, without amending, to say that, oh, they're both Asr until he does Afar. No. No, you're right, he cannot do Afar, they're both going to be Asr. Well, that contradicts our Mishnah. It says, no. But the Bayami says, could go into Kama Allah, the Bayami Tomah, where he tells her, Hareini Nazir Va'at. I'm a Nazir, and it really means, if you. That he makes his nether dependent on her nether. In other words, that if you're in the zira, then my nazir should also take effect. Okay, so then they're both Asr. He cannot be Mefer. Like it sounds like in the Bryce over there when it says Shnei Masur, and the reason is because he made his nether depend on Han Nether. If he's made for Han Nether, he's also bottle. He's violent loyachel because he holds Balmea Ka'aku. You are uprooting retroactively, not the way we said in the first text of, of Megiz Gaius. But as you get in the top of Chav Gimel and Aleph, Masnit, but our Mishnah is going to go into Amala where he told her in a Nazir, I'm a Nazir, Va'at Mai. What does it mean, at my? In other words, he's not making his nether depend on her nether. He's accepting it either way. And when he's saying va'at, he's not making dependent. He's just asking her, and what about you? Do you want to be or not? So that, Mishamachi may fail shalav, a shalaykaim. So of course he can be made for his own, uh, make it for hers and keep his, because he's not making dependent. So therefore, says Abaya, that's a different way of resolving it. It's not making independent. And that's why our Mishnah says, you can be made for it. There, it's both going to be us because they made it dependent and then you can be able to 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 be able to